Hello, this is Sherelle T. Martin with Nitro Financial Solutions with this week's tip for Tech Talk Tuesday. So this week we're going to talk about how to close your books in QuickBooks Online. And I've heard from clients and from um, potential clients that they would love to be able to close their books in QuickBooks Online. Well, I have news for you. You can close the books in QuickBooks Online. So closing the books allows you to close out or block off um, your records once your tax return is completed to prevent any changes from being done to those previous period financials. So once your books are done, your accountant files your tax return, your financials should not change at that point. Um, so what closing the books does is prevents anyone from going back into those previous periods and making any changes that makes the statements no longer agree to your tax return. And so to do that in QuickBooks Online, it's very, very simple. You go over to your gear icon in the top right corner and you click on that icon and go to account and settings. Once you're in account and settings, you'll go down to the advanced tab. And from there, you're going to see in the top section, the accounting section, you'll see close the books. So if you go to the right and you click on the little pencil icon, that box will open up. Simply place a check mark next to close the books, and then you'll be prompted to put in a closing date. And so that date should be the last date of the financial period, whether it's two on the end of the year, fiscal year, in this case 12-31-15, or if it's the end of a quarter, June 30th, 2015, or if it's the end of a month, May 31st, 2015. Whatever the case may be, you simply place that date in the box. And then in the box underneath it, you can allow changes to be made after viewing with a warning or with a warning and a password. I always suggest to use a warning and a password because one, anyone who does not know that password cannot make that change. So we want to prevent anyone from being able to make the change who doesn't have the password. And two, it prompts you as the owner also, it kind of triggers in your memory, oh wait, she said don't make any changes to anything prior to the period because the books have already been closed. And so at that point, you can reach out to your accountant and say, hey, I need to make this change. What's the best way to do it in the current fiscal year? So that's what the process is. So we're going to put in a password. We're going to save it. And then you'll notice at the top where it says close the books, there is now a date. Now next month, when we close the books for the subsequent month, let's say we want to do this every month because you have the option to do this monthly, quarterly, or annually. So we're going to change the date to the end of that next month and hit save again and the date has been updated. So that is how you close the books in your QuickBooks online file. If you want to check out more tips for our Tech Talk Tuesday tips, then be sure to check out our YouTube channel. Talk to you soon. Bye.